Hello everyone and welcome to something a little bit different today. I've been playing the immersive gameplay mod pretty uh, pretty severely <laughs> over the last week or so and uh, I have built this thing here at, well we're at Sanctuary, you can tell from the bridge. Um, I, I like this mod because it, you know, it influences how you build, it influences how the structures are, how the uh, things are. So I'm going to describe the stuff that you're seeing here. I mean, it, it's pretty obvious what it is and try and give like my impressions of this mod. I mean, it's not a review because my character here is only level 22 and I haven't really gone much south of Diamond City at this point because I'm scared to. Um, so uh, one thing that's different about the mod is the Provisioner will actually sleep. I, I've seen the Provisioner sleeping a couple of times. So this is this Provisioner's house here. He is uh, hanging out with one of the uh, one of the farmers and she's doing carrots because in this thing carrots vegetable soup is much much better than noodle cups noodle cups don't hydrate you in this mod so vegetable soup is is your go-to and it's really really good so it's of course carrots and potatoes and lots of water but i've saved a tree you know built this little scrappy thing around the thing the hub flowers do come with the mod as do a couple of pieces um the little half walls with the white stripe on them those are in there uh, ammo boxes med kits uh, duffel bags. There's other various things in the various menus that I've seen that have been added, which is really nice. I'm also running Scrap This Settlement instead of Scrap Fallout. I'm trying it out, and so far I have been very, very pleased with its performance. It doesn't seem to be such a performance hit. It's something to do with pre-combines or something. I don't know what that is, but um, apparently this Scrap That Settlement does not break that, so performance is better. But we got our cow here, and then his, their lumpy little shack. There's only two of them living here. This isn't decorated very well because, again, I'm level 22, and the um, the mod really restricts weight in uh, survival mode. Like, at 5 strength, with pocketed armor, I had a capacity of, like, 135, and my gear weighed, like, I don't know, 60. So I really couldn't bring a lot of stuff, but that kind of works because it looks like they've just got some raggedy crap in here. Not very much stuff because, of course, they don't have much stuff because I don't, I can't bring it back. So this time around, what we did is I built around the blue house in the front and that's pretty much it. I made a little like town. So what I'm gonna do first is go around the outside. Right there is my, um, that's a general vendor. And then I've got, you know, the, the trading outpost thing. And oh my God, getting this thing unlocked was hellish, hellish at level 20 because I had to do, you know, East Boston prep and the National Guard training yard. And that sentry bot, sentry bot killed me like four times. I couldn't kill him. So we've got a guard outpost up here, guard tower up there, a little divot there for whatever reason. Um, I love this little wall thing. I love the way this particular set piece came out. You're gonna see a lot of this, tur turrets peeking to the wall. But you know, different types of turrets, different types, because I mean, every turret has, uh, every, every turret has ammo that it uses, and that depends, and that influences what its uh, defense strength is, which is kind of cool. But building turrets was a quest in itself. You need a lot of ammo and a lot of material to build a turret. So that's why we don't have very much. So here's, the, I'm gonna go around the outside and just show you what it looks like all walled in. But here's the back wall here, and it goes around the outside of the yellow house where the original fast travel mat is. Uh, we got some observation posts in there. And uh, so things that are different, very, very different. Uh, fusion cores are hard to find. Power armor's not so bad, but you can't find fusion cores. And of course, there's nothing back here. This, this house is completely empty. And then I built in between this wrecked house, which I did not, did not scrap. I haven't scrapped most of this place because I don't know, it just made sense. I did, plus I was in a hurry. I mean, I was running out of food and water and I didn't want to get attacked. So here's the back of that. We'll go around the outside here. And then this is the actual wall of the first farm area. But this place kind of grew. I started with just the blue house and I put a little field on the side and then put another little field on the side and then built up to the bushes. And it just sort of grew in like five or six different phases. So that's why it kind of looks as scrappy, cobbled together as it actually is. So biggest differences in this mod is uh, the combat difficulty. That is, that, that's the biggest one. Because uh, apparently the enemies don't scale. They are as strong as they're ever going to be when you first start the game. So what you'll find is that uh, at first, almost everything is skull. I mean, it's just, even, just the lowest level raiders are the only things you can really take on. And um, hit location's done a little bit differently. Um, I really like the way the mod author has incorporated gun skills by not making damage, but um, 
making accuracy. So, the, you know, the better you are with the gun, the more accurate you are. But the gun doesn't get any more powerful. It's just, you know, you can, you can hit what you're shooting at. So we'll go through the bushes. There's my razor grain thing. I planted razor grain before I figured out that vegetable soup was better. Uh, we got the tree here with some wires. I did leave the wires exposed this time because it, I don't know, it made more sense with this particular uh, application. Because I was trying to make, you know, a fortified, like, frontier town, hamlet, whatever, village. Because I don't have time to build the stuff. And uh, the, if this thing gets attacked, the, um, the attacking strength is crazy. I mean, 20, 30 at a time. They do send out scouting parties. You know, I'll see two or three of them come across the bridge, but they don't ever make it into the settlement. And I have yet to have a full attack here where they come from the spawn points. Um, I'm kind of hoping to see that because now, right now, I've got about 50,000 pounds of the stuff in the workbench. And uh, so if they're going to attack, it's going to be it's going to be soon. Of course, after this, I'm going to empty it out because, of course, what I've done is I've done the depot thing where this is a feeder settlement, a production settlement, and uh, Abernathy is a production settlement. Red Rocket's the depot. So I basically, every now and then, I'll come back up here and I'll uh, dump everything, I'll scoop everything out of those two workbenches and stick it in Red Rocket. But you got your little fortified, oh, they have sandbags in there too. Those come with the mod. But you got your little peak hole here where the settlers can shoot out at that spawn point should they come up. And, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really liking it. Um, the biggest changes are uh, the enemy strength. Okay, so here's a barracks thing. I'll talk about the strength in a minute. Here's the barracks. This thing is completely snapped together. Everything in here is snapped. This is a build order, uh, build order uh, Armageddon here. I, I, I have a snap and snap and snap and, but it went all nice together. And you know, they got standard, all the guards, these are all the guards uh, barracks. So it's all standard equipment, a bed, a cot, uh, a piece of furniture that I salvaged, a stool that I salvaged, and that's pretty much it. Most of the furniture that you're seeing in here was salvaged. I have built very little furniture. The beds, of course, the sleeping bags and stuff. And these people are my uh, my scavengers because scavengers are actually useful now. They scavenge, they produce a lot more material. Uh, water pumps produce a lot more water. Crops are weird. He changed most of the weights and the food that you get from them. So I had to actually get a spreadsheet to figure out how to get six food units uh, because a carrot is like 0.1, a potato is 0.25. So you get a lot more crops per settler, and they do generate a lot more food, which is really, really nice. And these poor guys are confused because they're trying to walk out past the front wall, but they can't because it's walled off. So you got the top field, you got the barracks, you got their sleeping quarters. And then up here we have another guard post. I'm gonna scoot up here really quick. Nothing really much to see here, but she has a good vantage point where she can see the bridge. She can see all the way over to Abernathy almost. You can see the whole thing down here. She can almost see the spawn point back out there. And then you got another turret elevated here so it could shoot over the hedges because these turrets are hard to kill. My God, turrets are super useful in settlement attacks because they lay waste because they don't, you know, they're, they've got like 10 times the health or something. But anyway, back here we got the second field. Um, we got a scavenger station here. But anyway, enemy strength. So uh, enemies have been scaled differently. You know, critters like mole rats and bugs, whatever, they're easy to kill. Uh, raiders, raiders are pretty easy until you get to like professionals and the survivals, survivalists. They're a little bit tough. Um, but then you get to things like super mutants uh, and synths. Synths are hard. Oh my God, synths are hard. They, <laughs> I mean, they give you a lot of fusion cells, which is totally cool for, uh, for energy weapons. But, uh, but super mutants, I'm going to tell you, super mutants are terrifying. They're, they are, oh my God, they're terrifying. Like that little, uh, that little outpost of them by uh, Diamond City. Yeah, you go up there, he's got, one of them's got a Gatling laser, one of them's got a minigun, and he's got a missile launcher, and the Diamond City guards are all in heavy armor, and it's a bloodbath. I'm like, oh my God. So, uh, but yeah, I, I had my, uh, my eye-opening experience when I went to unlock uh, County Crossing. They wanted me to clear out Medford. So I'm like, oh cool, I'll clear out Medford. Yeah, I died like nine times. Because I, if you aggro two super mutants, you're a dead man. You're just dead. They're just gonna kill you. They just, they're so hard to kill. I mean, if I get them isolated, and I get them outdoors where I can run away, hey, sweet, <laughs> I can take them. But three of them inside, oh, hell no. I, I know, no, I have to be a lot tougher than this. So I ended up, what I ended up doing is uh, basically killing the guys in the lobby, killing the suicider and the, the hound, and then sneaking up to the third floor, picking the block, sneaking in, killing those two dogs and two super mutants, and then getting the hell out. I, I literally left, the, I just, I couldn't do it. I just could not do it. 
so there's the top field, the top guard station, um, you know, and then I turned this thing in. Since since the uh, since those two pieces were already here, I just went ahead and used the workshop. All those tires are from here. I picked them all up and dragged them down here. There are a lot of tires in Sanctuary. I never really realized how many tires there are. Got myself a dog. Took me too long to get the, the canned dog food there. And then out here we've got the patio. So, you know, lounge area for all the settlers to do their thing. And I'm, this is just cracking me up, sugar bombs. Sugar bombs are good, they don't have radiation. And he, you know, changed, he changed a lot of the, uh, the rads on, on food. So uh, cooked meat is no longer, cooked stuff is no longer necessarily rad free. And most box stuff is not, but sugar bombs are. Sugar bombs are rad free. So there's, you wanna pick those up. So go to the bar area, the main gathering area here. And they don't, like I said, they don't have very much stuff. All the furniture salvaged. Very little was built. I mean, I built the pictures obviously. And a lot of the wood walls and stuff. We got your bartender back here. And then in the side room here, we'll take a look at him. In the side room here, this is this is the player house. This was my house for the longest time, but I let the bartender have this bed so he would stay put. But you know, racked up weapons, um, and yeah, the regular stuff. So yeah, um, I like I said, I haven't gone south. I've only fought gunners once, and I've that was enough to tell me I don't want to fight them for a long time because they are again hard. But on the bright side, on the upside of this, every um, Every enemy has a full set of gear. I mean, full, and like heavy armor and combat armor. So you can gear up pretty, pretty good. The, the temptation is strong to take all their stuff, but you literally can't hold it all. So yeah, here's his thing. He's got his shelf, his bed, his random stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so there's what it looks like in the daytime. That's the, um, that's the thing here. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go out to, the, uh, to my platform which is way back over here. Hey, Carla. Thank God there's not, usually there's four of them, all four of them are here all the time. And it's uh, it's done. So that, anyway, that's the entire settlement. There's nothing else back here. I haven't scrapped most of it. I've left it all here. Um, and so let's go up here. We'll do a slow pan over the whole thing and then I'll switch to nighttime and show you what it looks like at night. So here we go. So there's the Brahmin on the roof. There's the, uh, the thing. I do like the way this looks, how this came out from a non-linear sort of ragged wall lines and different heights and there's the barracks back there and then there's the back of it that's the whole thing it just basically grew from the blue house up the side of the street about up the side of the back of the house and stuff like that so let's put that right there and i will be right back nighttime is dark i know i keep talking about how dark things are but if this is going to be a fortified town then I'm gonna wanna have as little light as I can so that, you know, attackers can't get at me. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the tour on the outside, but you, you know, you've seen it. I'm just gonna go through the middle of it here. So anyway, back to the review, the uh, overview or whatever. So uh, I will say that whoever, to all you who recommended this to me, thank you very, very much. This is exactly the type of thing I was looking for. Uh, I still haven't figured it all out yet. There's a lot to it. I mean, it is a very, very thorough, detailed, complicated, involved mod that changes everything almost about the game and uh, but I do love I love it it's just it, it it's balanced it's fair it's but it's punitive like the author says it's punishing but it's fair like like survival is I mean of course unless you crash um, but when you die when you screw up you're dead it's like okay well I screwed up I mean at no point have I been all oh come on well once when I tried to blow the leg off a ghoul and it just was not happening oh she's stuck um, but anyway, uh, if you are looking for a different type of challenge, if you're looking for a game that is more, less bullet spongy, you know, that you don't, because uh, like I said, the enemies don't scale. They just, they are what they are. And you are what you are. And your whole, um, your whole journey, I guess, your whole development as a character is to improve to where you can kill them better. But you are never going to be, never going to be invulnerable they're never going to be in, well they can be invulnerable if you're not uh if you don't have the skills to kill them um and it's the thing that impressed me most i gotta i gotta say this the thing that impressed me most is the polish is just how well it's been engineered how um it's just it's it's a really high quality piece of work it's just amazing 
that I keep finding new cool things. And it's like, that makes perfect sense. You know, it's like, I would, I don't, you wouldn't, it, you don't think about it. It doesn't occur to you until you experience it. And you're like, oh yeah, well, that makes total sense. All right, cool. Um, so yeah, if you're looking, if you're, if you've, if you're tired of the survival mode or if you want a new challenge or you want to play the, the same game a different way where it's different, but it's still the same. And it's, it's just really cool. It's really, really cool. So uh, props to the mod author for this thing. It's, I am having so much fun with this. And as you can see, it's completely changed my building style. I mean, this is basically a bunker style. Let me turn the light on here. This is a bunker style, scrappy ass, we're just trying to get by. Hope, hopefully they don't come kill us. But yeah, they all path up here just fine. Um, sort of deal. And you have to think about it defensively. Like this thing is much more defensively oriented than anything I've ever built. I because with the way this game attacks you, I, there is no way I'm having an open an open settlement because the the dynamic is so different now that you need walls. You need these. Settlers will use these. They will use the little, the little um, outposts, the little towers. They'll look over the side and, you know, uh, use cover. And it's like, wow, so neat. I mean, there are some things I wish I could change, certainly. Uh, the weight limit, obviously, is one of them. Uh, I do wish there was a way to make your settlers level with you. That would be nice. Because, I mean, even, even at the strongest, they're only level one, right? I think. I don't have the perception thing. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, it really does, it's really cool. I, I, re I heartily, strongly recommend it if you are looking for a way to play this game in a way that is the same, but will definitely, especially if you're experienced with the game, especially if you're like me, and you know everything there is to know about everything, it's like, well, yeah, it's, it's not the same anymore, dude. You need to be very, very careful. So here's the turret looking over the back, good sight lines to where that spawn point is. And here's the back, here's the field from the top of the back here. But again, very little light, just, you know, focus light. Of course, you don't light up the field. Who needs to let, you know, the plants don't need light. They'll get sunshine in the daytime. We'll go back up here. And yeah, she's got her, she's got her duffel bag and ammo, ammo box over here, working on fixing a laser pistol. And that's another thing this thing does really well. It makes energy weapons valuable. I mean, energy, I mean, I used to just blow energy weapons, whatever. But in this game, they are, in this mod, they are totally, terribly off awesome. Uh, I've been using Righteous Authority as a sniper rifle, and it does the job. I mean, wow. Of course, you know, it only weighs seven pounds. That's, that's a huge bonus as well. But uh, I'm looking to get myself my combat rifle. But I need suppressors, and they don't make suppressors. Suppressors aren't dropped until, like, level 30, and I can't make them until Gun Nut 4. So, uh, yeah, that's my next goal. So, anyway... Um, I hope this has been interesting. I mean, this is this is how I build. There's, here's here's the culmination of scraptastic. Yeah, I see the bartender sleeping in my bed, and uh, but yeah, I you know I don't know what else to say here. <laughs> it's just like this is just how these things build. And again, not too much stuff, not a terrible lot of stuff. Got a decontamination arch, and uh, yeah, there we go. Here's our general store guy. He's kind of just chilling. And no, I have not let Preston out. I am not letting him out. Nope. No, 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 no. I don't want him spoiling my, my beautiful little, my beautiful little, uh, my beautiful little town here. And this thing here, this is a very weak turret up on top, but I put it out here so it can, it will alert to stuff coming over the bridge. Because as you can see, these two raiders here tried to make it over the bridge and well, they didn't make it very far. So let's go ahead and wrap this bad boy up. Where am I going to, where am I going to stop? I'll just stop over here at the, at the trade outpost. You can take another look at this thing. This came out really nice. This was pretty easy to do. So, okay, now here we go. And I wanna thank you all very much for subscribing and watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.